All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and today we're talking about, well, adding hot swap bays to just about any chassis. Now, what these are is chassis that can mount in any five and a quarter inch bays. Now, this one fits three bay, and the one behind me that's whirring away, you may hear it in the background, is a two bay chassis. So this will fit in a 4U chassis, that one will fit in a 2U chassis. Now I have it running right now in the background. I don't know if it'll come off on camera, but we're transferring to Unraid at 77.8 megabytes per second. They list a spec that I doubt they'll ever reach. <laughs> and this is going through ethernet to my server, so slowed down by that. Now they're both powered by two Molex connectors. This one, has individual SATA connectors, so you have to plug individual cables into. The one in the 2U comes with a SAS extension, so you've got mini SAS breakout to regular SATA. Now, if you notice, they've got a fan on the back of them. That is a regular fan that you can replace with like a Noctua. The bays are interchangeable between the units. As you can see, I've got some <laughs> mismatched bays in this one simply because I already mounted those. They're going in my Unraid server, so, but I wanted to get some data off of them before I wiped them. But anyway, <laughs> this will fit in my Rosewell chassis because I need to add additional drives. I'm over 50%. I've only got one parity drive in there, and it was either this solution or, well, get a new chassis and hot swap bays are a little expensive, and I thought this might be a good option to test out. Now these units, like I said, will slot into any five and a quarter bays. This is a two bay, this goes into a three bay. Now the three bay is gonna be mounted sideways, but hot swap bays in any chassis. My Rosewell chassis is out of available slots for hard drives. So if I wanna add more bays, I've gotta swap out the chassis or do this. In a future video, we're gonna add this to my Unraid server. Obviously I gotta do some additional stuff inside like add Molex connectors and a card to actually connect to it because I'm also out of available ports. Get subscribed if you wanna see that Unraid upgrade um, because I'm gonna to have to do some upgrades to it, not just slotting that in because I don't have any additional SATA ports but get subscribed if you want to see that. This is just a nice option if you want to add hot swap bays to basically any chassis. On the chassis that this one's in, this is a one I reviewed on the last video I did. Sorry, I went on vacation, but um, not easy to swap in on this particular chassis. I had to relocate the fan bracket back a slot. It's tight in here. There's air coming out, so it does blow. Now, just a quick note, I'm not probably not gonna get any no noise readings on this because it's just the fan bar is way louder than the hard drive bays. But I had to take the face plate off, getting this swapped in. It's not the most fun, but it worked. It's reading, so. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.